Hi everyone. Welcome to Lucky Punch. Do you like this video? Don't forget to subscribe and like it. And now ladies and gentlemen, the stage is set. This is it. The time has come. I said the time has come! <laughs> Fighting out of Brooklyn, New York, USA, here is the reigning, defending, undefeated IBF, WBO, WBA, WBC franchise and ring magazine, lightweight champion of the world, the takeover, Deo Primo! Out of Sydney, New South Wales, Australia, here is the IBF mandatory challenger tonight, making his first attempt at a world title, presenting the former WBA Oceania and IBF Pan Pacific lightweight champion, George Ferocious Cambosis. Championship of the world, Madison Square Garden doesn't get much bigger than this. Round one. Schedule for 12, and Tio can leave. That's a good strategy against the power puncher like Lopez. Voting on the break, no love lost between these two. They've been jawing all week. Good little. You know, Cambosis has shown a willingness to fight fire with fire in the female. Over aggressive with that overhand right. I think Cambosis caught on to the timing of. Oh, and that got him off balance. And again, Cambosis not going anywhere though. Cambosis just eating these right hands. Get into a firefight with his opponent. Oh, what a right hand! That set the tone and that set the strategy for Cambosis. Overhand right. You believe this? Lopez said, I'll catch him. And he just caught him. He went. Eat this motherfucker now. Remember. Cambosis turned around like he knew and expected that was going to land. What a start to this fight. I'm enjoying the show, man. I mean, this. That overhand right was... And to his credit, George Cambosis told us his. He said, if he wants to get into a firefight with me, I'll do it. Right hand connects again for the Aussie. That's keeping the elbows in by Cambosis. Lopez comes in a little overly aggressive. He's throwing it, and he's coming close to landing a big one again. Teofimo fights better with calculated aggression. Cambosis just barely missed. This is the punch that put Lopez down. This is the punch that almost put him down again. Heritage, he certainly has not retreated in this fight. Take the onslaught of Lopez, but counter really well. We've talked a couple of times. In your, in your legs, that's when you start feeling it. But right now, I mean, both these guys. the jab that I've been seeing from Cambosis. It's a power jab that's getting the attention of Teofimo Lopez. Cambosis are looking for the exact same punches. Both of them, everything off the jab, looking for... Oh, and there's a left hand that caught Cambosis' best punch. Comes back with that same jab just to land that right hand. A little bit out of distance, but that's exactly... Oh, nice right hand for Lopez, who wishes he had a few more... ...are really adept at switching. Guys like Terrence Crawford, over the last round plus. Lopez is having a hard time. Nice left hook. Taking it to the champ, and it all starts with the most basic punch, the jab, but he turns into that hook. That was a great right hand from Lopez there. From Cambosis, good round for him to bounce back after it was Lopez. Slugger to come in to throw anything or get anything started with that jab in your face. Lopez, who had a solid last round. Look at Cambosis go! Cambosis Jr. through four rounds. Absolutely, Cambosis throwing that check hook anytime Teofimo comes in with that right hand. There it is again. Upset all the odds makers who thought he would get stopped within those first three rounds. Come in undefeated, but his last two wins, they came against Lee. to go into the second half of the fight, and it, it looks like it's going in that direction. Right hand connects for. Cambosis is Lopez. Go oh, and another overhand right from Cambosis. Who's Too often in this fight, I've seen him kind of load up on these punching. Everything that you thought was going to happen, what didn't happen? So you gotta, you gotta go to Pam. Another right hand from Cambosis. Is racking up points by throwing the jab and throwing combinations. 
Lopez is starting to look a little perplexed. Like, what is this guy? Body shot from Cambosis. Haven't seen a ton of that from either fighter. Swelling over the... Oh, and a nice right hand again from Cambosis, who's winding it up. Doing different than Lomachenko did against Tiafimo. Power. Cambosis, at no point during this fight, has shown any real respect. Rehydrated 10, 12 pounds. Oh, boy. Nice jab followed up by a straight right hand. McCaskill, what are you seeing? Coming out, kind of hot-headed the way that... Oh, nice uppercut. Well, we're about to head to the eighth. The ring, Sergio, do you think ring rust has something to do with it, or was it simply overconfident? Both left hook. And there's Chris Mannix's unofficial scorecard. Four points ahead. The body shot on the inside by Teofimo Lopez. And they swing it. Let's send it upstairs to former world champion Chris Algieri. Lopez, that is stunning, Sergio. It, it really is, and I'm just, I'm shocked and impressed. Teofimo Lopez because... Oh, right hand! A game-changing right hand, Camposa. In that last round, the ninth round. Oh, and is that a knockdown? It oh. is! Will he try to go toe-to-toe? -to -toe? Here comes Tio! But the momentum shifted with that right hand by Tio Fimo. And Tio Fimo's fighting in front of a mirror. Final six minutes. Who do you like, the champ or the... Chris Mannix has it even, 94-94. And then a left, everything's late. Oh, and a nice right hand from Cambosis. By George Cambosis. Yes, it has. Margin. And a right hand lands for Cambosis. Coming right back, aiming for that bloody eye of Teofimo. Last year, Teofimo Lopez dug deep last round, and he is now possibly one round away from the biggest. Right hand. Nice combination work from Cambosis. Blood continues to pour out of the cut of Teofimo Lopez. Under a minute to go. in the body in this 12th round. 10 seconds left. And Glenn Feldman scored this contest 115 to 112 for your winner by split decision. He's still undefeated. And the new IBF, WBO, WBA, WBC franchise.